Hello, hello children, hello parents of children. It's Tom here from Canterbury Baptist Church. Uh, lovely to be back with you. Sorry we've not been able to see each other. We've missed you, um, but it's gonna be so good as we read the Bible together, go through some stories together. And we're gonna be looking now at Moses. Uh, and I'm gonna try and get a few of your other leaders, other adults that you might recognize to come and read some stories for you as well. Um, but today we're looking at the story of Moses as a baby, uh, when he looked a bit like this, um, and ended up in one of these. Um, so if you get yourself comfortable uh, and I'll read you a nice story um, at whatever time of the day it is that you're watching this, okay? So let's settle down, shall we? The story of Moses from Exodus, Exodus 2. A new baby boy! How happy his mother Jochebed and father Amram would have been but for the latest law of the cruel Egyptian king. Every newborn Israelite boy was, be, was to be thrown into the river Nile. Jochebed looked at her beautiful baby. He must not be drowned, she said. I shall hide him. I know that God can keep him safe. At first all went well, but the tiny baby soon grew into a big bouncing one, and his cries got louder. As she hushed, hushed him asleep, Jochebed prayed and fought and planned. Then she began making a cradle from the river reeds, just like the fishermen made for their boats. When it was finished, and it looked a little bit like this, when it was finished, she smeared the outside with tar to keep it waterproof. While the baby slept, she put him gently into the cradle and carried him to the water's edge, taking little sister Miriam with her. She placed the mark basket along the tall reeds and leaving Miriam to keep watch, sped quickly home. Still as a mouse, Miriam crouched into her hiding place and waited. Soon she heard chatter and laughter. The princess, one of the many daughters of the Egyptian king, was coming to bathe, attended by her slaves. As Miriam watched her heart beating so fast, the princess stopped. Look, she said, there's a basket in the reeds, fetch it. Her slave waded in, picked up the basket and handed it to the princess. At that, the baby woke up, gave one look at the unknown face and burst into tears. I'm getting very familiar with that sound. Poor little thing, said the princess gently. He must be an Israelite baby. Her kind look gave Miriam courage. She stepped bravely forward. Would you like a nurse for the baby? She asked. Yes, said the princess. And Miriam hurried home and fetched, you guess who? She fetched her mother. The princess looked keenly at Jochebed, her mother. Then she said, take this baby and look after him for me. I will pay you. When he is older, he shall come to the palace and be brought up as my son. I shall call him Moses. Happily, Jochebed and Miriam carried the gurgling baby home. They need not worry who saw him now. God had kept Moses safe. For a few more years, he was theirs to keep and care for. And that is the story of Moses as a baby and how he was saved by his mother, his sister, uh, and the Egyptian king's daughter, the princess, as well. And Moses would go on to do great things, and we'll learn about those in the next few weeks. Um, but it's great, isn't it, that God provided and looked after him. So that's just a little story for you. Now, if you want to do something as a family to remember this story, um, I have started to make one of these. And what it is, is making your own little basket. And all you need is you need a mummy or daddy just to cut some slits in some card or some paper for you cut out some of these strips of paper 
and like like she did to protect Moses you can do your own bit of weaving um, so that you have this lovely piece of um, a basket which you can then put your baby in and as you can see it's really simple if I can do it you can do it with your mummy and daddy I'm sure and um, and then what you can do once it's done and all sealed and all beautiful get one of your dolls or your teddy bears and you too um, can practice putting them on this this reed uh, and getting them out there in the open as well um, like this you see there we go um, so that's something else you can do as well just as a little activity just a reminder um, of how Moses was protected by God in Exodus 2 but it's a great story okay have a great week everybody um, lovely chatting to you thank you for watching um, and God bless bye bye